Hey, in this episode we'll be painting a landscape environment from scratch, we'll break down the main steps and as usual stay tuned till the end to see the final result. My name is Victor, I'm a concept artist and illustrator working for film and games. I really hope you guys will enjoy this video and find it helpful. Alright, let's start! And we're starting with a very simple linework sketch. And since there aren't many geometrical figures or any complex perspective happening in this scene, I didn't have to spend a lot of time on this phase. So maybe roughly seven minutes. And as soon as I'm confident with the composition, as soon as I know and I'm roughly placing the elements in the scene, I can already start thinking about establishing the mood, figuring out the time of the day, lighting and so on couple of few touches, maybe adding a fisherman's boat in the foreground and we can already move to next phase. And that's working on the sky because personally I prefer whenever I establish the mood of the scene or any painting I prefer to work from the background since the sky dome is like quite an important light source. I'm working on that, figuring out the tone, what kind of color it might work and moving on to blocking in the rest of the elements with just flat color so local value basically and you can also notice that so far the image is, looks quite flat and that's because i deliberately don't push those values too much in the beginning i don't want to end up with having a huge value range and having to you know increase the darks in the foreground because some objects are not readable and so on so try to control and be careful when you're working with values in the beginning because it's quite important and it helps to achieve a nice readability if you've managed to have your value matrix be readable and appealing in terms of composition. I'm already working on those rocks in the middle ground and I'm pointing into some darker areas areas where the light probably is not going to reach that well. And I'm also extending the canvas on the left. I'm just using the crop tool, painting over the stuff that's missing. I was feeling that there's not a lot of breathing room uh, on the left over there. I'm just going to work a bit more on this boat. Since it was blocked in, it, uh, I didn't pay too much attention to it. Now I'm just going to sculpt it a bit better. Maybe add some additional elements. And whenever you see me adding new objects, new elements in the scene, Usually I start with the form, working with flat color, take a brush that you prefer, and then I add the areas that are in the shadow and so on. So in order to add a little bit more punch to the image, I'm uh, adding finally the reflection of those big rocks in the water because it was missing and it was flat overall. I'm also thinking about the waves because some of these areas are quite empty and those uh, waves can create really nice patterns. I'm also blocking some, I mean, basically I'm still working on the composition, trying to compose this image in a way that is, uh, you know, it's going to work. And I uh, was thinking that it might be a nice idea. I've also seen it in a reference. There's like this palm tree in the foreground, because otherwise I think that, you know, the viewer's eye would kind of wander on the left and uh, get out of the composition. So also spending some time on the foreground and Give, paying some attention to this boat, the waves around it, the water, um, some sort of what kind of shadow it casts. At this point, I'm already pushing the values a bit more. You can see especially the palm tree in the foreground. It's a bit too dark right now. I'm just going to fix that later. Uh, adding some shadows and you can also see that I'm constantly checking it in black and white just to see if the values work and I didn't mess some things. Because sometimes in color, uh, some smaller nuances might might escape your attention. By the way, there's a free brush pack in the description and for those of you that want to improve even faster, I'm uploading full video tutorials with more commentary on Patreon together with PSD files, more brushes and separate tutorials. The link is down below.
So I'm trying to um, design the set overall of this scene, adding some uh, vegetation over there just to for it to be complementary from the whole, you know, a lot of vegetation on the left and the part on the right seemed kind of empty. I'm also looking for various references of, you know, rocks, uh, bay areas, you know, tropical environments and so on. That's also very important, so keep in mind your um, visual library, have a mood board whenever you're doing this. It's really, really important to work with references. Another, I guess, another advice would be don't gather too many to, you know, don't have a huge option to look at all the time because uh, that would actually distract you more than help. So have a master reference and then have a couple of reference that might fill the gap uh, whenever you're working on an environment. I'm still pushing the values on the water. I'm thinking that I could add a little bit more punch to it. And I'm constantly turning the image into black and white to see if everything is readable, if you know my main elements are distinguished from the background. Now I'm gonna spend a little bit of time on the fisherman's boat. And I'm pretty much, I'm looking for a painterly uh, aesthetic to the whole image. Uh, and that's why I'm using this uh, painterly brush strokes. I am not, some, sometimes I define the edges, sometimes I use um, like very rough brush strokes and I'm, I leave them just like that. And especially it's important whenever you have like these greater distances, like a deeper perspective in your image, to make sure that in the foreground maybe you can use some uh, sometimes wider brush strokes and they get progressively smaller as you work in the in the background, right? This will indicate distance and it will kind of give the viewer an idea of you know, how big of a distance it is between the foreground and the background. I'm also trying to add some color accents because I think that this boat kind of looks bland, so maybe I can you know, take the same red in, on the, from the shore and add some elements with kind of like the same nuance on the boat as well. Think about the a bounce light from the ground that bounces back onto the planes of the boat. Again, I'm checking it in black and white uh, just to make sure that everything works well. You can also flip the canvas, oftentimes flip it to find out like different miscalculations that you might have with the perspective, maybe with the planes. That also helps finding various errors. And um, overall, this is pretty much um, I'm already uh, thinking that it's kind of done. You can of course spend maybe 10-15 minutes, add some details, work on the edges, make sure that everything is readable, separate some planes, that's also helpful. And uh, you can even zoom in if you want to spend more time on your image, zoom in and get a better look at some things. All right, so this is the final image. Thank you very much for watching till the end. If you did enjoy this video and found it helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps a lot. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in the next video coming soon.